To get a characterization down, I think is already a challenge. Then to play an opposite gender role on top of all of that is also a, another challenge. And then to be honest with you, the breasts and the high heels. <laughs> I have hampers of laundry and my diet pill is wearing off. But mom, I want to be famous. The dancing is really, really hard and it takes a lot of energy. I'm not the smallest person in the world. Um, I'm definitely a curvy girl. And in the 60s, honestly, this would be considered bigger. I think the great thing about VCU is the amount of learning that you get in different aspects of theater. We get a new acting teacher every single year. You take stagecraft, you do the costume and makeup thing, you really explore the whole theater background and I think it's very important that you know all aspects of theater and not just your own craft. I didn't really know about the Richmond theater community. I came here because the theater pedagogy program is one of only a handful of, of programs like it. But when I got to Richmond and found how vibrant the theater community was, I was quite surprised and very happy about it. Well, the great thing about Patty is that every scene, every moment, every single movement has a story behind it. Every little move is specifically timed to a specific beat. I wanted to be the biggest thing in Brazier's. The script is hysterical and yet it still has such a serious message. Nice kids in town. The music is infectious. The dancing, the singing, the band. We go out there and we have a really, really good time. And you get to see me in a dress with a size bra 50 and an H cup. <laughs> that in itself is exciting to watch.